This week, we've compiled all the daily tips shared on social media throughout the month of June. The episode is packed with advice on just about everything, from health and wellness to financial literacy, designed for both young adults and parents of teens and young adults. We only share the tips in this episode, but you can read the detailed how-tos for each tip in the original blog. You can find information about the blog in the show notes. First, let's start with the health and wellness pathway. We had four tips in June. One, consider telehealth services for non-emergency consultations, especially for follow-ups or minor concerns. Two, learn these simple breakfast recipes that provide energy and nutrition to start your day right. Three, regularly check in with yourself about your mental health. Don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious. Four, stick to a consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends, and create a bedtime routine to signal to your body it's time to wind down. The second pathway is personal growth, which included three tips this month. One, advocate for yourself by clearly expressing your needs and confidently defending your rights. Two, build resilience by practicing self-care, staying connected with supportive people, and maintaining a positive outlook. Three, sharpen your decision-making by thoroughly researching your options, listing the advantages and disadvantages, and visualizing possible results. The next three tips fell under our career readiness pathway. One, when looking for work, your resume is often the first step in the door. Make it count by focusing on clarity, relevance, and attention to detail. Two, don't job hop. If you are unhappy in a job, make an honest effort to salvage the situation before leaving. Three, create a professional LinkedIn profile as soon as you are eligible, highlighting your skills, experiences, and goals. The fourth pathway is financial literacy. We had four tips this month. One, before donating to a nonprofit organization, research the organization and understand the implications of your contributions. Two, create a checklist of regular bills to ensure you don't miss any. Three, consider selling belongings you no longer need to generate extra cash for savings. Four, Research different types of bank accounts and choose one that fits your needs. Next is the social skills pathway with three tips this month. One, evaluate your social circle and invest in relationships that bring you joy and growth. Two, practice speaking in front of a mirror or recording yourself on video and watch to identify improvement opportunities. Three, some messages are better delivered in person or over the phone. Assess the situation before choosing your communication method. For the sixth pathway, everyday life skills, we had three tips in June. One, using public transportation is a great option, but know how to manage the risks. Two, learn and practice laundry basics, how to properly sort clothes, how to choose the right detergent, and understanding washing machine settings. Three, learn basic sewing skills to mend a button or fix a seam, saving money and extending the life of your clothing. Last but not least, our final pathway is civic engagement with one tip this month. If you are over 18 and a U.S. citizen, make sure you're registered to vote. And that's it for our June tips. Be sure to read the details in the original blog. Remember to practice the skills, share with your friends, and follow us for daily tips. And one of the best ways to remember what you learn is to teach someone else. How about you share a quick video of yourself explaining or practicing the skill? Remember to tag us.